Hi everybody and welcome to the Abbott Show's 3D Test Kitchen. I'm your host Fergie and today we'll be using PLA in the kitchen. So let's take a look here. Now I've used water to try to soften tape to remove it from the bottom of the print when I'm using tape on my heated bed. And when I did the last time I noticed something really crazy. So let's go ahead and check about PLA temperature. Alexa, how much is 200 centigrade in Fahrenheit? 200 degrees Celsius is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as I stay away from, say, 3 to 350, I should be okay. Right? And this is average tap water that only comes in at about 150. So that's ha less than half of the temperature that's going to melt PLA. So it should be pretty safe. Or is it? Let's go ahead and take a look. Because this is what I encountered when I was um, trying to clean the adhesive. I was using hot water on my PLA and a little scrubber here. And I was scrubbing it off. And in fact, it may not even have been this hot because this is, this is really pretty hot here. Here we go. So I just let it sit there because I wanted the adhesive to heat up so it's easy to remove. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. And after it was in for a bit, so it was fully uh, cooked, here's what happened. No, not yet. It melted. Not all the way, no. But it melted enough to be pliable. Let's set that down there like that. Within only a couple minutes, it was hot enough that I picked it up to scrub it off and it started bending in my hand. Well, not a great idea when you're just trying to clean up some tape, right? Let's see what we have here. There we go. Take a look at that. Okay, let's bring it over here. So as you can see, uh, that is not a good look for PLA, right? It was only 150 degrees. It was nothing more. Let's cut that off. No, that's worse. Okay. So I didn't think it was anywhere close to the boundary. In fact, your car in the summer can easily get 150 degrees inside. This is why you don't want to leave PLA inside of your car in the middle of summer because it will do that. Right? But here's the deal. So now it's all bent up. What if you have a print something that you expected to be flat and it lifted off the heat bed a little bit, right? We've all had that. Even PLA will lift off the heat bed at times. So can I use the sink to flatten it out? Well, that's a good question. So let's go ahead and get a skillet. And let's go ahead and get something flat like here. Like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skillet and I'm going to flip it over. Nice flat surface. If it gets hot enough, I should be able to flatten out the thing. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can do that. So I'm taking this out. I'm sticking it here. I'm going to push like this. Remember, this is a bent one. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. So you can see now, this is definitely a lot flatter than it was before. It would look like a potato chip, and now it's flat. Now, it's a little indented in the middle, because we did severe damage to it. I mean, we really went to town on this thing. But you can see that it's kind of flat. So, if you have something like, let me see what I have here. Hey, we use this. So if you have something like this, maybe a shark, right? Flexi shark. And let's say the nose like lifted up a little bit, right? What you can do is start your water, hold just the nose hot underneath the water for about a minute. 
just like this. And then once it's nice and warm, you can take it over here, put the nose down, take your spatula, hold it down till it cools. And PLA, not, not ABS of course, but PLA can be corrected using your sink. All right, so that's using PLA in the kitchen. Kind of phenomenal because you saw what this looked like before and now it's completely flat again. All right, just a helpful tip that I'm passing on to you guys. Hope you learned something today on Abjus 3D. As always, subscribe below. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. I do appreciate you showing up today and you have a great day.